the hypothesis is that if you snore, you're going to transmit some vibrations to the carotid artery that may cause it damage. And if the carotid artery wall is damaged, you get formation of uh, carotid atherosclerosis. So that's plaques developing in the carotid artery wall. And the vibrations can then even further move on and vibrate the artery and cause that plaque to rupture and eventually lead to stroke as well. And what we've done previously is just demonstrate that these vibrations are transmitted to the carotid artery in, in animals. To link this to humans, we're getting uh, endothelial cell cultures. And the way we're vibrating is using a, a particularly designed uh, shaker vibration system where we play human snores to the shaker and it causes the cells to vibrate at that snoring frequency. It, it is a crazy idea and I think that's why it's, it works quite well. <laughs> uh, I guess the ultimate goal is to show not just an association between snoring and atherosclerosis, but to show that the snoring itself is causing uh, carotid artery wall damage and eventual uh, atherosclerotic development. Being in a Westman Hospital is quite unique because you're exposed both to scientists and clinicians, so you have that interaction from both sides. And um, I think being with, as an engineering background, you add a, a certain aspect to that as well. So we've got these three type of disciplines communicating together and working together to achieve a certain goal. So it's been quite unique. I guess to me it means that we have a, a bunch of researchers that work well together uh, from different disciplines no matter where you're from and uh, we're achieving great things.